I'm Moni. And I'm Alex. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. You're, You're Alex. Alex. Let's try, try this again. again. I'm Alex. And I'm Imani, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to GATV. GATV. We have lots of exciting things planned for you all today, but first, let's say the pledges. This will be led by Grace and Sam from ninth grade. Um, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior of the kingdom and stand, one and Savior crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I will hide God's word in my heart and I will sing as God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for letting us all gather here together. Help us all to learn today and help you to speak through our actions and through our words. Amen. <laughs> this upcoming Sunday, we have another Because We Can basketball game. These games are to help encourage the involvement in sports for children with special needs. So if you're free, come to Gateway at 2 p.m. to cheer the athletes on. This week, we are beginning to highlight our CFTA elective classes, where the middle schoolers and the high schoolers are learning some really cool new things. I got the chance to talk with Miss Lee this week about her sculpting elective. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Imani Nieves, and I'm here with Miss Lee to talk about sculpting. When and what got you into sculpting? So I've always been into art in general. So painting, um, mixed media, watercolor, oil painting specifically. But once I got into college, I realized that there are other forms of art that you can work with other than just 2D. And so there was one course in college that I took, which was sculpting 101 class. And it was very intriguing for me because you were able to create your creativity, but in 3D perspective. And I thought that was really cool and it's probably like really obvious thing to think about but I didn't realize how much joy and fun it can bring into an art world that a different perspective I had. What are sculptures that you have done and some sculptures that we can look forward to in the future of sculpting class? So this is a sculpture we have completed. Um, we created an earpiece. Uh, we dissected the anatomy of an ear, um, the bone structure, the cartilage. So these are the artworks that our students worked really hard for. As you can see, these are all displays. They are displayed in the in front of the elevators if you want to check it out. Um, in the next few projects, we're going to work on different body parts, such as eyes. Um, we're currently working on nose. Um, now we're going to be working uh, next project after your nose will be a mouth and an eyes. So big projects coming forward. Thank you. Back to you. Uh, hey, Moni, what time is it? Time for you to watch. Ha ha, very funny. Wait, 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 wait. Guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> That's not what I was going to say, but anyway, I was going to tell them about the new segment. Oh my gosh, yes, tell them, tell them, okay, tell okay, them. Okay, 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 okay. Introducing our first ever installment of You Laugh, You Lose, Dad Joke Edition, starring Miss Bosser and Mr. DeSanctis. The way this works is Miss Bosser and Mr. DeSanctis will be saying jokes back and forth, trying not to laugh. If a contestant laughs, they will get a strike. When a contestant gets two strikes, they lose the game. <laughs> We're live. We're live. Hi, this is Mr. DeSanctis. I'm so proud to be a part of this show, the first segment. You know, people say I am the best boss. They go, goodness, we have never worked for such a great boss. You are hilarious. And you get the best out of us. Mrs. Bosser, just a few things here. When I die, I want to die like my grandfather, who died peacefully in his sleep not screaming like all the other passengers in his car. Hey, Mr. DeSanctis. What does a pig put on dry skin? Hmm, why don't you tell us, Mrs. Bosser? Oinkment. Could you make us laugh that hard once again? Sure. Okay, What do shot. you call it when a snowman throws a tantrum? 
Tell us, Mrs. Bossert. A meltdown. Mrs. Bossert. Yes. What, what do you do if a teacher rolls her eyes at you? What? You pick them up and roll them back. <laughs> Did you hear about the kidnapping at school the other day? No. Mm, you didn't. Well, everything is all right because the kid woke up. Oh, I get that. What do you call a pig who does karate? Mm, why don't you tell us, Mrs. Bossert? A pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Mrs. Bossert, my grandmother, God love her, she started walking five miles a day when she was 60 years old. She's 97 now, and we don't know where she is. I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. Mr. DeSanctis, we have a very big problem. What's that? The milk, it's gone bad. It's gone bad. You know, you live in Staten Island. Staten Island is home to a lot of Italians. But did you know this? When some, why, why so many Italians are named Tony? Because when they came over from Italy, they had a sticker on them that said, To New York. That's a good one. What did pirates call Noah's boat? Hmm. Tell me. The Ark. That was good. That was really good. I like that one. We're tied. Uh, um. Congratulations to Mr. Sanctus for being our first, first winner of You Laugh, You Lose. Well, that's all we have for you today. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. I'm Alex. And I'm Imani. And thanks, thanks for watching GATV. GATV.